Um, Pastor Jeffrey Johnson Sr. You got three minutes, Doc. Preach your text and sit down. Preach your text and sit down. Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I baptize you with water for repentance. But after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Look at somebody and tell them, I wish somebody would catch on fire. There's a difference between being baptized with water and being baptized with God's Holy Spirit. Some of us have been baptized with water, but we have not been baptized with fire. Where the Holy Spirit gets inside of you, empowers you, energizes you, enables you. You have to catch on fire. It's not enough just to come to church. It's not enough just to sing. It's not enough just to shout. God wants somebody to catch on fire. Look at somebody and tell them, I wish somebody would catch on fire. Fire has a twofold purpose. Fire can destroy by burning, and fire can develop by burning. Every now and then, the fire of God's Holy Spirit comes to destroy. Destroys sin, destroys ungodliness, destroys fornication, destroy adultery, destroy backbiting, destroy lying, destroy rumors. The Holy Spirit has a fire that will destroy, but it also has a fire that will develop. Develop you into who and what God has designed and desired for you to be. When precious metal like gold is found, they put it in a refiner's fire. It's got dross on it. It's got waste on it. It's got impurities in it. But once it goes in the refiner's fire, the fire burns off the dross. It burns off the waste. It burns out the impurities. And what is left is pure gold. Every now and then, God will take you and put you in the fire of life because God is trying to burn the impurities out of you. He wants to burn the hell out of you so that you come out as pure gold. Every now and then, you and I don't want just white flour bread that can be soft, can be cold, no flavor, and no taste. And so we take it and we add heat to it by putting it in the toaster. And when we put it in the toaster, we're not trying to burn it, we're trying to better it. We're trying to give it some heat, trying to make it warm, trying to give it flavor, trying to give it something that we can taste. Is there anybody here that know every now and then God will put you in the toaster of it? So that you'll stop being soft and cold and put flavor. Do I have a witness of it? Turn to somebody and tell them, I wish somebody would catch on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the real preachers.